The hand tools and consumables that you'll be using in today's class will be as follows. A hand crimp tool for crimping a crimp sleeve onto the connector holding the jacketed assembly together. Very important polishing puck for polishing the end face of the connector. A scribe tool which will be used for scribing the glass, removing a burr of glass from the connector itself. The connectors, this is an ST connector with a ceramic ferrule. Safety glasses, very important. We don't want anyone getting hurt. Alcohol pads for wiping the fiber clean prior to any insertion into the connectors. Three different grades of lapping film for deburring, rough, and fine polishing. Syringes and epoxy for epoxying the assembly together. This is an ST bulkhead or feed through which will be used in the testing purposes. You have a supply of cable for making the assembly. Glass plate for polishing on so you have a nice, clean, smooth surface. And also very important is a trash bin where to place all the different parts uh, of your assembly as you're cutting and removing and any other um, ancillary items that might uh, need to be discarded of properly. And Kim wipes. Kim wipes are used because they're dust, uh, dust free and lintless and we don't want to use any common household tissues when working with optical fiber. So these are the recommended tissues to use. Now I've laid my tools out and my consumables uh, in a fashion that's easy to work with. Notice that I'm working on a gray workboard. Normally I recommend a surface that's black. It could be a workboard such as this or a black cloth. And the purpose of the border cloth is to, twofold. Number one, when you're working with the uh, fiber, the glass itself, it allows you to see the glass clearly. Uh, also, it protects the surface of the table you're working on. Should you be working on a family room, such as a kitchen or a dining room, you don't want to mar or hurt the surface that you're working on. So this type of surface is very important. And if you don't have one available to you at this moment, uh, now is the time to run out and get a piece of black uh, cotton cloth, uh, usually one big enough to cover the surface that, of the area that you're working on. Notice that I have the tools and consumables laid out in a rather logical fashion. They're in the order in which I'm actually going to be using them. I'll be starting with a jacket stripper for cutting the jacket off the cable. Uh, Kevlar scissors because the strength member of the jacket is Kevlar and we need good scissors for cutting that. Buffer strippers, we'll be explaining what the buffer is a little bit later on. Uh, and a crimp tool, that's the order in which I'll be using these. The crimp tool is used for crimping the connector to the cable. I have my epoxy right here, ready to go. Uh, syringe, which I'll be using to uh, apply the epoxy to the connector. I have my alcohol pads, my Kim wipes, all where they can be reached, my trash bin, and my polishing puck. And a point of, uh, of note on the epoxy. The epoxy has a life before it gets too hard to use of about 30 minutes. So that's uh, one of the things you want to do is have everything laid out where it can be easily gotten at and make sure you have everything you're going to need so that you don't go searching after you've mixed the epoxy. This way uh, you won't come back and find the epoxy uh, already hardened up and unable to be used.